On most mornings, Steve Lancaster is up before the sun, climbing the 280-foot Turner Tower Crane as the sun climbs above the horizon. Sounds crazy, but I'd rather be here 5 o'clock in the morning than 8 o'clock at night. No matter the weather. The worst is when, it, uh, like we have freezing rain, yeah. coming up the ladder, it's pretty sketchy. Lancaster makes the trek from his home in Burlington, then climbs up 14 ladders to his small cab at the top. On a windy day, it's little tedious. These are long days. He controls concrete pours from his captain's chair. That elevator shaft over there, yeah. eventually I'll have to pour it. Um, it'll take me about five and a half. Hours, that is. The tools of his trade are pretty simple. Heaters and fans so the windows don't fog up. Window cleaner, air conditioner, binoculars, a radio to the guys on the ground. And this console is key. Your weight, um, your wind speed, which I have seen it since I've been on this job, hit 52 mile an hour and did not feel real good sitting in this thing. <laughs> yeah, just imagine those winds on your way up. Ladders are all you've got. Remind me why I pitched this story again. <laughs> when we climbed, it took us nearly 11 minutes to get to the top. We have obviously sped this up. That's what I like to hear. Once you are up, the views are incredible. Over the Rhine to the north, Cincinnati's icons look like miniature models. The streetcar and traffic like matchbox cars below. That skyline to the south, unobstructed. It's a perk of the job. So is the real-time traffic check. I know which way to go home. I can go, you know, 471, 75. It's, it helps. But only time can help one thing. I'm actually, I'm afraid of heights. Are you really? Uh, yeah, you heard that right. Lancaster's job forces him to face his fear up here every day. He started in other cranes closer to the ground years ago, and he moved to tower cranes to try something new. How do you do this every day? You get kind of used to it. The first couple of weeks when you come up, it's kind of shaky, but after that, you, I mean, it's, I guess it's just like anything. So what happens when nature calls? So basically, there's the bottle. There <laughs> and even then, it's back down all those ladders again, leaving behind what is perhaps the most unique office in Cincinnati. You just kind of strain your eyes and go with it. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side. All right, now speaking of the downtown Kroger, we do have an update on the construction. The 18 floor tower at Central and Walnut will hold a two story Kroger, eight floors of parking and several floors of apartments. The garage should open next February, Kroger and the apartments by next September.